Hello and welcome to Walker Lumber Company. We need to move a lot of lumber around here, so one of the most important pieces of equipment we use is the forklift. But before you get started on one, there are many important things you need to know. The first thing to keep in mind is to always fasten your seat belt when using a forklift. This will ensure your safety in the event of an unforeseen accident. In addition, wearing your seat belt will help you stay inside the cage. It is the safest place for an operator to be. Once inside, remember that forklifts are potentially dangerous and not just to you, but to others as well. It is vital to be aware of your surroundings and avoid dangerous situations. One of the most important ways to stay safe is to control your speed. A driver needs to take into account the vehicle, the surface conditions, and the load being carried. Driving carefully at a good safe speed allows for better control of the vehicle and affords you more reaction time. Another potential source of danger at the mill is situations where vehicles cross paths. This could lead to a collision if the drivers are not paying attention or unsure of right of way. To avoid this, always be prepared to yield. Out in the yard, it is not always clear who has the right of way. Stay aware, slow down, and stay safe. As a driver, others may ask for a ride somewhere. It's your job to point out that this is unsafe. Under no circumstances is it safe to have someone on the forklift with you. They could be seriously hurt in the event of an accident. As you can see in this example, forklifts do not turn in the manner most people expect them to. Unlike a car, which has a narrow turning circle, forklifts tend to swing out their back ends. It is important to make sure your vehicle back end doesn't hit anything, especially pedestrians. Here is a driver's point of view that looks completely safe, yet seen from a different angle we can quickly see that it is not. The problem is the mass, which obstructs a great deal of what is in front of you. To avoid dangerous situations, always be aware and move around the cab like this. In order to get packs to the air dry yard, you'll need to go up and down an incline. When going up, face forward and make sure your load is high enough to avoid clipping the ground, but only as high as necessary. In addition, you'll need to position your load a little differently than normal. First, tip the load slightly forward to keep it from falling backwards. Second, this particular incline steps off to the right, so you should position your load slightly to the left. When descending on an incline, follow these same rules, but face backwards. Forklift drivers need to adapt their driving based on weather and surface conditions. In order to avoid sliding on ice, drive at a speed appropriate for the conditions. Take corners at a slower speed and leave greater margin for error. When loading the forks, it's essential to keep the load stable and in control. You can achieve this by keeping your load tilted backward toward the mass. This will keep the load from moving forward in the event of a sudden stop. Another key to keeping the load stable is to keep the center of gravity low. Traveling with your load low to the ground reduces the potential for it to tip. When moving into a new situation, it is not always possible to fully assess it from the forklift. In these circumstances, a driver needs to get out of the machine and access the area before using the forklift. Here a driver is accessing whether or not there is space for the pack of lumber he's carrying. The key is to be fully aware of the situation before taking action. Also keep in mind the maximum load capacity of your vehicle. For these specific forklifts, there's a maximum load capacity equates to two 14 packs. Never exceed this amount of weight. When emptying sawdust into the bin, you'll need to be aware of the bucket. 
avoid scraping the bin, but also avoid lifting it high enough to hit overhead wires or the roof. Empty the bucket slowly and carefully. There are also a few important things to remember when out in the log yard. Out here we use grapple loaders to stack logs and they need to be stacked in a safe, secure manner. Remember to stack them even and straight and no more than 8 feet tall. This will ensure that the stacks don't collapse. And just like everywhere else at the mill, make sure you carry an appropriate weight and secure it properly. There are a number of safety considerations to keep in mind when stacking packs in the shed. First, in order to avoid stacks tipping over, always make sure they are straight and not leaning. Second, be aware that the area is stacked tightly so there is little room to maneuver. Third, always keep your forks level when backing out so as to avoid pulling the load out of place. Finally, be aware that there are overhead cables when working in the air yard. It is possible to hit these cables if your load is high in the air, so keep your load low to the ground. Keep these tips in mind and you'll have success at driving a forklift here at Walker Lumber Company. Good luck.